But one thing is always that my dad never said no, like to playing in the backyard. Or I mean, he worked two jobs. He'd walk a mile home from a train station, working in Manhattan, out to Long Island, and then I wouldn't think as a kid that he's tired. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. Mm -hmm. And he would, he would, he would say, "All right, let's go." And then we're running in the house, around the house, and he's throwing little pillows, and we're catching him for, for like an hour. Mm -hmm. And where he's got us massaging his feet somehow. He tricked us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and my brother, somehow we, he's got us doing this. <laughs> so, yeah, look, I, he, he showed me the way to spend time with your kids. Uh, it wasn't never about the monetary things. We didn't have much, but it was always about trying to carve out dinner time was yeah. important. Yep. Never missed a soccer game. How old were you when your dad, did you get to see your dad play ever? Yeah. What I remember most is like playing with other kids after the mm -hmm. game on the field or. I would take him on a Sunday, let's say, to Toyota Park, the stadium where we played, where, you know, no one's around, yeah. buildings shut down. Mm -hmm. I'd go out on the field a little bit, mess around with them. Wasn't sure if they'd ever play soccer and I, and I didn't, it didn't matter. Whatever they wanted to do, uh, it wouldn't have to be a sport. But we always said, hey, can you have be passionate about something? Something, this yeah. yeah. I just tried to inspire them. I remember the stadium well, Toyota Park. Uh -huh. I remember the fans were really good in Chicago those first few years. Like Section 8, I still remember in Chicago. I remember the Gatorade milkshakes they had there. That, <laughs> like, I don't know how I remember that. I but like, that. I would imagine not just for you guys, but like for you two to have your kids get to see those things at such a young age, to see men like doing something that they love to do and with such passion has to be such a, like a bonus. Yeah. I knew for sure, based on my upbringing, my parents, that what success would be for us is that we teach our kids right and wrong, to be considerate of people, to work hard. Yeah to not make excuses. I've always talked about that. If we're driving home after a game and they're 10 years old, I promise you, I don't even wanna to talk to anyone at the game. I just wanna be a dad. Got my coffee, I, I'm not Chris Armis, I'm just a dad. Yeah. We'd get in the car on the way home, and then <laughs> she's going at these guys. What, how did you miss that goal? What you, why would you do that? Like, like it's easy. Well, how did you miss that goal? You can't get over it. And I'm just like, well, Justine, has to keep it I'm like, real. Justine it's, not, it's, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> but any time they started making excuses, yeah. the referee, that's when I fixed the mirror. Hey, oh, yo, don't blame the referee. Don't make excuses. And this was, that's only when I was chiming in as a dad and about the life little lesson. Yeah, there was no, I was definitely harder on them. It's only honesty in our house. Mm -hmm. Like I tell it exactly like it is and yeah. there's no fluff. 